do some magnet fishing today. It's a well-traveled dock. They don't allow anyone out there on the boat docks if you don't own a boat, so that would probably be a good spot to do it. I can't imagine how much stuff has been dropped over there over the years, but uh, this is definitely well-traveled. Hey, look at it. These actually have some good value to them. Oh, well, we're not starting out exactly hot. Got a little lure. One hook with the lead wheel weight. And took out a snag off a big stick down there. And this little piece of metal, whatever that was. I don't know, it was just stuck on it. No, yeah, it's got, it is metal. It's got metal clasps. Uh, so a highlight so far is this. Muskrat. That's a good pooch. What is it? What is it? What? What is it? It's a swimming pooch. Mm. What? How come you don't do stuff like that? <laughs> you don't do stuff like that. Huh? You don't do stuff like that. This is a really popular place, as you can see. And I have the feeling that uh, only finding this little amount here someone is probably coming out here and magnet fishing and I just dawned on me that might have been something someone else pulled out and just left it laying here or forgot about it because that thing actually looks like it's been in the water maybe I see, see the mud on it and I'm not so sure a magnet fisher didn't pull that out or someone may have snagged it with their fishing line, with their fishing hook, I suppose. But I'm starting to think that a magnet fisherman did that and has been here because this place is cleaned. So I'm gonna move uh, down to the other dock. I was going, I wanted to do the boat ramp, but that guy's playing with his dog there. So I'll come back last, do that. I think this place has been picked clean. Just finding a hook here and there and kind of a strange piece of metal here and there. I think someone's coming here. It's way too clean for the number of people that fish here. Find of the day so far. <laughs> That's a little better. Found that. And I thought I had this big chain, but I guess it's part of the dock. Maybe. Not sure what I'm dealing with there. I think that's the anchor for the dock. <laughs> But it was with this, so that kind of threw me off. This is a new dock, so maybe the magnet fishermen haven't hit this one lately. I think it's a brand new dock, judging by that cement. And uh, look at all the iron, metal. I wasn't finding this at the other docks at all. All the iron rocks and whatnot. So. It kind of confirms to me that there's at least one 
magnet fisherman that hits this place regularly. I didn't sew it, but that concrete down there looks like it's just days old. I saw that steel chain come out of there. I thought I had something. <laughs> the dock. How big is that thing? Is it a giant? Is it a giant one? You know if I get a picture of it? Oh, I thought it was bigger than that. He's pretty big though. No, big enough to hurt if it bit me. Look at that guy. What's it on his shell? No, it's on his skin, on his neck. But I'm trying to get him off. Okay, I didn't bring my pliers with me. But I got a pair of pliers on my scooter. Do you? Yeah. How you long want them? are they? Actually, I got a pair of channel locks. Be perfect. You yeah. want them? Yeah. I'll go get them for you. It's gonna be. Okay. I'm parked way over by the boat ramp though. Alright, well, hopefully. That'll give you some distance from his jaws. It's got a pretty long reach though. But yeah. Don't worry about dropping them in water. I got a thousand pound magnet order. I was magnet fishing. Leave him alone. Not if I video it. <laughs> how how much do you care about the pliers? Oh, you can drop them, dude. All right. I got I got a thousand pound magnet order. He's gonna freaking bite this. I right, think if you just get that hook and just this. No, you gotta lay down. Put this on top of his head. Cause he can bite this all he wants. So I'm gonna come in behind this. So put this around back the back of his head. Maybe he could just have him bite oh, it. Freak. That thing hitting that thing hard. Yeah. Like put it, put it, yeah, put it on his head, yeah. Can you lift him up in the air a little? No, this line's gonna break. You know, it might just have to, it might just have to let that happen, you know. Uh, yeah, I know. Most likely, it's gonna stay in there. Cause that the hook's getting dug in deeper and deeper as we go. Yeah, and he's got pretty good reach. <laughs> yeah, he's got a big old mouth too. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we might just be better off just cutting line. Let me see. He's probably pretty tough. Let me try it, You want to go for it? You want me to try to just try the channel locks one time? Well, I don't want to tell anyone what I have to do. Lose a finger. I don't want to be yeah, responsible bro. for that. It's got like a solid eight, nine inches of neck to come out at you. Don't worry about. Don't worry about dropping the channel locks. So to get that out, you would have to take your. Maybe if you, are you gonna go to the end of those bad boys. There, no? there you go. There you go. Keep, keep it on his head, Sam. There you go. There you go. He's gonna go at you. Woo! Dang, oh boy. Surgeons at work. Oh, Kish, 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 Kish. Sorry about that. Kish, get away from there. Save me a good fly, dude. Did I bend the hook? Uh, What's your dog's name? Kreisha. Kreisha. <laughs> good job, guys. Uh, hope we make sure we do a good video. You don't mind, do you? Oh, no. <laughs> That's the highlight of the day so far. What do you think, Pooch? <laughs> Okay, so actually, when I saw this start to happen over there, I found a piece of rebar and an old, looks like an old daredevil spoon, maybe some kind of old spoon. And every time I put the magnet down there, I pull out these giant clumps of uh, iron metal or iron material, like iron, natural iron rocks. I guess that, huh? Watch out for snappers! Watch out for snappers! Ooh, good pooch. So, uh, 
Actually, this concrete is a little older than I thought. But it's, it's new stuff, though. This grass has only been growing here for a little while. Fresh grass seed, fresh concrete. That's just totally, totally different than all the other docks around here. The other docks, I didn't hardly get any of this stuff anywhere. And that's just, I just pull up piles of it every time I put my magnet down here. And there's so much old dissolving pieces of metal and hooks in here. I have to be really careful ripping up my fingers. Totally different environment than the other docks. And look at it. Get all the little pieces of oh, that's chicken wire. That explains it. That's probably chicken wire from when they. I wonder if it has something to do with the concrete they built there. It's kind of old, old looking though. It is chicken wire. I thought it was fish hooks. And so pieces of chicken wire has been cut up. Ah, it's really old though. Been there for a long time. Anyways. This pretty much proves to me, like I said, there's probably heavy magnet fishing activity on those other docks. So this is probably the last place, last time I come here. Maybe next winter or something. I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching.